What's up guys, DJ Lowstacks here, and today we're going to be unboxing the Canon Rebel SL2, the newer 18-inch ring light, a tripod, a uh, ball head for the tripod, uh, the Rode Video Micro, and the Joby Gorilla Pod, and a couple extra batteries for the SL2. So, quite a bit of unboxing coming up here. You know, please give this video a like, give me a subscribe, and all that stuff's coming up next. What's up guys, DJ Lowstacks here, and uh, today's a pretty epic day. I've been collecting Amazon packages for like the last week, and finally got the last one in. And it's actually the most important one. So today what we're going to be doing is unboxing the Canon SL2 and a whole bunch of accessories. Uh, basically what I decided to do is, you know, I've been using like my current camera, I have a, it's a Sony off of 5000. Uh, great camera, I really like it. But one of my main issues with it is it's not super great in low light and it also doesn't have an external mic input. And with the type of filming that I do for you know gig logs and stuff like that, obviously it's always low light. You know, I'm in a dark venue, so you know having a camera that does great in low light is important. And also I noticed uh, the last gig log that I did that the mic on this camera just wasn't picking up the sound very well. It was almost like it was uh, the bass and stuff in that bar was too much for it, so it didn't sound the best. But yeah, so today we're going to be unboxing the Canon SL2 and a whole bunch of accessories. So let's get started. Oh yeah! So what we have here is the Canon SL2 with the 18 to 55 kit lens. I actually got this used off Amazon, not used, refurbished off Amazon for 550 bucks. I'll leave a link uh, in the description for that. Next, let's see what I got in this box. I actually ordered so much stuff I kind of forgot what all I ordered. bubbles. Rode Video Micro. Jovi Gorilla Pod. And this stuff goes with, oh, these are two extra batteries. This is extra batteries for the camera. And this is a light tripod because this other big box is a light. Boom. Now, what we have here is the newer 18 inch LED light. I think first what we'll do is we'll move back to the camera. I really want to open this sucker up. Alright, start with the camera here. So we've got owner's manual and card to register it online. Charger, battery, lens. This is the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. Camera strap. And oh, yeah. Canon. Rebel SL2. Mm -hmm. 
Now this puppy, <clears throat> you guys are probably pretty familiar with it. It's got Wi-Fi, I'm pretty sure it has Bluetooth as well. 24.2 um, megapixel. I mean, it should be, from everything I've read and all the YouTube videos I've watched on it, this thing should be pretty freaking awesome. All right, next we have Rode Video Micro. Now a lot of this stuff I did get used, like this I actually got used. You saved like $10. And I think it was probably an open box item, somebody bought it and returned it. It's usually how it works with Amazon, a lot of that stuff. But looks like everything's here. Mic, dead cat. Cord. Boom. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah. Check that out. Alright, now the battery compartment on this thing is on the bottom here. Pop that open. Want to run and grab an SD card. Oh yeah. All right, let's set that off to the side for a minute. And we'll move on and we'll open up some of this other stuff. It's seriously like Christmas, this is crazy. All right, next let's open up this Gorilla Pod. Now this is the, the <clears throat> SLR zoom version. It comes with um, comes with a ball head and stuff on it, a little level, all that good stuff. It's not the most expensive one. It's actually like the second most expensive one. It's like I think it's like forty-four dollars. I'll also leave a link to this in the description. Heck yeah. I'll show you guys my old, my old little Gorilla Pod thing. This came from Best Buy. I'll grab that one real quick and we can pair. All right, so here's my old Gorilla Pod. Um, this is just a Targus brand one. It was like 20 bucks at, at Best Buy. And it, it worked really nice when I first got it. And it doesn't work horribly bad for the Sony camera because the Sony camera is so much lighter. Well actually this SL2 is probably just as light. But I did notice that it quickly became sloppy. Like it does not stay it's not nearly as stiff as it was when I first got it by any means. And these things have just such great reviews. I feel like I mean this thing is so stiff already. Like it's gonna be great. All right, next let's check out this light. The light stand. Well, this stuff is all pretty inexpensive. I think the light was the most expensive part. It was like 80 bucks, but 
the rest of the stuff is pretty cheap. I'm hoping it's not cheap in a bad way. This is, yep, ball mount goes on the light stand. I'm not the camera under that. All right, nice. Let's open up this light. Oh, that's cool. comes in the carrying case. Looks like it's a power cord, some covers. Here's our light. Snap these suckers on here. Alright. Wasn't so bad. situation here all right guys I'm back and we're filming on the Canon Rebel SL2 well, basically what I wanted to do is just kind of talk about <clears throat> my old camera and uh, kind of the reasons you know I decided to upgrade so the main reason I decided to upgrade was uh, basically just the low light situations um, I noticed big time in some of my gig logs that this just didn't have the the low light quality that I that I needed. You know, a lot of the video footage was really grainy and it just didn't look that good. So, <clears throat> um, the main deciding factor was the last gig that I did uh, at Wild Bull. Um, the video footage just did not look good. I just wasn't happy with it at all. Um, I feel like my cell phone could have done better than that. But. Uh, yeah, that's that's part of the reason and then the other reason is just uh, the fact that this one has the external mic input like that's gonna make a huge difference when it comes to you know when you're when you're vlogging uh, you know DJ gig you want to be able to have good good audio you know good audio good video good low light quality all that good stuff so this sucker I'm gonna be putting this on Craigslist for sale here soon uh, I might actually hold on to it just for other reasons I don't know most likely I'll get rid of it though uh, but yeah, you can definitely probably tell um, already just the the audio quality difference between you know the footage that I filmed for this video on this camera compared to what we're getting now and obviously I have this camera inside the 18 inch um, newer you know ring light and then I have the Rode Video Micro attached to it so hopefully there's a huge difference I'm really hoping that when I go to edit this that I can tell a big difference and you know that it's worth the extra money you know, everybody says that this this Rebel SL2 is going to be like it's one of the best vlogging cameras out right now. You know, it just came out this year, so you know I'm hoping that it actually really stands up to what everybody's been saying. And I can tell already just from the you know watching myself in the viewfinder the way it tracks my face. Like I cannot get out of this face tracking, and you can tell also you know some of the video that I had on this from earlier. I was watching myself in the viewfinder, you know, get out of focus. So hopefully you know the autofocus on this is supposed to be you know awesome way better than than this thing um but yeah guys uh that's pretty much all i have for for this one i apologize for uh the scruffy face i'm trying to participate in no shave november but uh i seen like 14 year old boys that can grow a better beard than i can i think uh joe dirt probably grew a better beard than me but i'm giving it a try i'm, gonna tr I'm, per I'm just, it's almost november 15th so i'm almost halfway through the month i might as well just keep going with it but uh yeah, guys, if you liked what you saw today, um, please give this video a like and subscribe as always. And, uh, you know, I'm going to try to, you know, be putting out videos as often as possible. Just kind of my thoughts and things like that between gigs. I don't have another gig until January. But, uh, yeah, guys, I'll catch you next time.